Hey, what's up everybody? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this creamy moisturizing hand soap. I absolutely love the texture of the soap because like I said, it's super creamy and it's really moisturizing as well. So here's the formulation I have typed out into percents for you guys. So you can just easily transfer this recipe to however much you want to make. And if you don't know how to transfer a formulation to a weighed out recipe, I will link down in the description box below to a video that shows you guys exactly how to do that. So in this video, we're going to be making 300 grams, which is about 8 ounces. It's a little bit more than that, but it's right around 8 ounces. So let's get started. First off, you need a digital scale that weighs to 0.01 grams, and I'm using this glass beaker that is a 400 milliliter glass beaker. So first off, I'm using 190.5 grams of distilled water. You can use some kind of hydrosol or aloe vera liquid here if you guys would like. I'm just using distilled water. Then I'm adding in 12 grams of vegetable glycerin, and this will act as a humectant and moisturizing agent to help hydrate your hands. Then I'm using 12 grams of propendyl, which again will help moisturize your hands and it will also help get rid of that greasy feeling that some people may find with glycerin. I personally don't find it to be greasy, but I know some people can find it to be greasy. So this will help get rid of that greasiness and it'll help moisturize your skin. Then I'm using 15 grams of avocado oil, which you can substitute this out for any other carrier oil you would like. I just had a lot of avocado oil on hand and I need to use it up. So that's why I used avocado oil. Now it's time to create a double boiler by taking a pan, filling it up with some water, and placing your beaker in and covering it up with aluminum foil. So there's not really a specific temperature you need to heat this up to. You just wanna heat it up until it's warm because the next ingredient we're gonna be adding in actually dissolves better when it's added into a warm formulation. So once your formulation has been heated, grab your digital scale and put some kind of barrier between a scale and the beaker because the heat from the beaker will actually screw up the scale to where it won't be able to read the weight accurately. So now it's time to add in our Scylla gel. So we're gonna be using three grams of Scylla gel which is about 1%. And this will help gel your hand soap and will also help emulsify the oils with the water so they don't separate. If you want, you can use 2% Scylla gel and you would get more of a gelled hand soap. But what I like to do is use 1% Scylla gel and then 0.5% xanthan gum, which equals two grams. And this will create more of a creamy texture. It is also possible to just use xanthan gum and you wanna use about 1% xanthan gum if you're just using xanthan gum. So now that we have all of our powders in, it is time to grab an immersion blender and blend everything together. Together, and everything will instantly start gelling and thickening up and you just want to keep blending until you get a nice thick gelled consistency. So now that everything is nice and blended, you just want to let it sit until it returns to room temperature. And once everything has returned to room temperature, it's time to weigh out our surfactants. And this is the ingredient that's actually going to be cleansing your skin and creating a lather. The next ingredient we're using will also be helping with that. So first off, I'm going to be using 30 grams of gentle foam. If you don't have gentle foam, you can use any other kind of surfactant you would like. Just make sure they're compatible together and it makes sure they're compatible with the ingredients you're using. And then I'm using 30 grams of cocoa glucoside. This also works as an emulsifier, so if you don't use Scylla gel and you just use xanthan gum, this will also help blend the oils and water together so they don't separate. Now you just want to gently blend in your surfactants. Make sure you're not creating any foam here and just gently mix it in. And now it's time for our preservative. I'm using 4.5 grams of Optifin Plus. You don't have to use Optifin Plus just as long as you're using a broad spectrum water soluble preservative. Then you wanna blend in your preservative to make sure it's well combined. And lastly, we're gonna be adding in our fragrance. So I decided to use this fragrance called Water Lily Melon. I'll be sure to link down below where I purchased it along with everything else I use in this video. And you can totally use essential oil as fragrance here if you want. I'm using a total of 0.5% of the fragrance oil and it ended up being the perfect amount. I used a total of two grams of the Water Lily Melon fragrance oil and I blended everything together to make sure everything is well combined one last time. So now that we are all finished, it is time to grab our container. So first off, I'm using this four ounce Boston Brown glass bottle to pour some of my hand soap in. Then I use this little white plastic pump. That way I can easily dispense it out whenever I need to wash my hands. I then grabbed another four ounce bottle and poured the rest of my hand soap in this one and just used a little basic cap to seal it up until I run out of the first one. That way I have a backup whenever I need it. So here's how the hand soaps look once they're finished. And the one last thing I did is I made a little custom label that says hand soap. So you know when anyone comes over, they'll know which bottle is the hand soap. So here's just a little look at what the texture looks like. I don't know how well you know you can tell on camera, but seriously, this is such a nice creamy gelled consistency and it feels so soft and moisturizing on the skin. Absolutely love this hand soap. It's definitely been my favorite recipe I've ever made of hand soap. So now that we have reached the end of this video, it is time for my Patreon shout outs. First up is Herbalist Tracy. 
She owns Essence of Nature over on Etsy. I did a review over her products in the past. I'll link that below along with her Etsy link down below. Next is Musical Mood Ring who owns Stardust Bath & Body. As of right now, her website's not live, but you can go over there, type in your email, and get notified when it goes live. You can also go follow her over on Instagram at Stardust Bath & Body. Then we have Nature's Farm Girl. She owns naturesfarmgirl.com. She makes all kinds of natural skincare and body care products. Go check her out. Then we have Kennedy's Essentials and she makes all kinds of natural hair care products. I did a review over her products in the past. Go check it out and go check out her websites. Then we have another brand that I have done a review over. It is called Let's Blend. So go check out the review I did and go check out their websites. Then for the next shout out, this is actually a spa that's located in Miami, Florida. And it's called Young Forever Aesthetics and they specialize in plant-based facials. You can also go follow them over on Instagram at Young Forever Aesthetics. And next up, we have Reese Porter, who owns Creative With Love. She sells all kinds of natural skincare products as well. Go check out her website. It looks like Valentine's Day. And last but not least, we have a Wonderful Body Co. And they make book-inspired bath and foot soaks. I have a review over at their brand coming soon, so look out for that. Also, if you guys didn't know, I sell my own skincare products over on Etsy. I'll put a link down in the description box and up in the corner so it's easy for you guys to find. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Let me know if you guys try it out and hope to see you guys next time. Bye. I'm stuck in the motions I've been consumed by the wrath of time Like I'm from I'm shattered in this life It's still the path that I've chosen Because I've had a vision Now I'm on a mission To find myself with you